to show you how to enable third person view in Aliens vs Predator 2. First you want to go to the folder where you have your game installed and when you're in there you want to find the file autoexec.cfg this is the main configuration file for the game and I advise before you start modifying anything to make a backup copy of that config file except if you go in there and modify anything else that way you can return your game to normal if you screw it up alright so open that file and then scroll down to the bottom of it where you see these range bind entries and then right after the quick load copy and paste this text I left this text in the video description you can copy and paste it exactly from there and now what's happening there is it is binding the Y key to chase view or the third person view you can change this key to whatever character you prefer right there um, and then save your config file and now once you do that um, you can launch the game and third person should work when you push that key before I show you that in game I will show you a common problem that comes up Um, on newer Windows machines they have virtual directories or virtual stores um, and what that means for AVP2 is sometimes the real auto exec file that you want to target is the one that's getting loaded from the virtual store like you see here um, if that's the case then you would just you would edit the auto exec file from your virtual directory for AVP2 which you can see mine here is this app data slash local virtual store blah 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 that's a little caveat um, you'll have to go in there if you notice when you launch the game and it's not responding to any changes you make in the configuration file all right we're now in game so press your third person key whatever you set it to and you'll have chase view on um, I'll show you how to get this bird's eye view next but one thing to note about third person view if you hold down the key that you assigned it to you can rotate around your player character alright so next I'll show you how to change the zoom level so you can get a bird's eye view like I have here so you can also change the zoom level on the third person camera as well in order to do that you want to go back to your auto exec configuration file open that up and at the end of all these lists right before the add action entries you can copy and paste this text from the video description third person dist this changes the zoom level in your third person in your third person view this 900 you can change that this is measured in game units um, you would have to change that to whatever zoom level you want you'll have to play around with it to see which which value that you like 
That's how you can change the zoom level so you can get something like a bird's eye view of your player character. <laughs> 